Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and you know me for a lot of connectors for ServiceNow, Salesforce, Jira, Confluence and so on. Today we'll talk about the ServiceNow connector. And I will have an update for this ServiceNow connector in one or two days. And the idea is like this. A lot of you ask me about um, how to work with catalogs, how to work with um, items, variables and so on. Let's talk a little about the connector that I create. So the connector that I create that um, you find here uh, on Connector for Service Now, and on UAPAT Studio, you will find it on the UAPAT Team Service Now activities. Yeah, the version will be 290 something. Uh, it's based on table API. So Service Now has multiple APIs. Yeah, and everything that I implement until now. It's based on table API. Now, a lot of you ask me about catalogs, items, uh, variables. Uh, so, so for these activities, you can work with table API, but they have also a service catalog API dedicated for this. So I decide because was a lot of requests for this. I decided to create special activities for this. So I create activities for, um, I will show you inside of Serve Now. So all the functions from here are implemented now as an activity. So if you download the latest version of the activity, inside of Service Now, UAPI Team Service Now, you will have a folder that is called Service API. And this Service API will have four folders one that uh, work with catalogs so you can get the uh, the catalog list or you can get the details for a catalog you can get categories category list and um, uh, details for a category then you can work with items you can uh, get item details you can order now submit guide and so on so there are all the functions from this service api and you can work with cart so again you are able to all the functions from there, update, get variables, submit orders, and so on. So this is for um, for uh, developers that uh, know service now and they work a lot with uh, with uh, with catalogs and items and so on. Unfortunately, I'm not uh, an user of service now, so I don't know how to to use it. Uh, but I implement all the functions from here, and um, I wait for your feedback to to understand what else you need on this part. Because I understand that with the table API, there are some difficulties on, on this part, yeah? So all the things from uh, service API are implemented now in the connector. Let's see some stuff, yeah? So if I want to, for example, if I want to get the category, yeah? I will drag and drop. I indicate the, uh, the ID of the catalog and I will get a list of all the category. I already put this on the, on the so you can set limits you can set text so all the function that are on the other side they are, are able to uh, so you can get the categories from a catalog then you can get items that are part of the category catalog or a category um, and this will return data table yeah then you can get details for each uh, uh, for each um, category and um, catalogs and so on and uh, variables now uh, if I want to add something, so if I want to get variable, I need to provide him some ideas of the variable. For example, if I want to submit a producer, I have to provide him here the variables. Yeah. So it was a lot of questions with uh, how I can provide the variables. And what is this variable? So you see, when I add uh, an item to a chart, you provide him the um, the variables, yeah? Let's understand where are these variables. So in service now, when you have a catalog and I, I have an item on the catalog, you will have here a variable, yeah? So what I need to provide inside of the UAPAT Studio, it's I go on this variable and on this variable, you will see that I have variable name, yeah? So I have here the name of the variable. So what I will provide here on this one, I will provide as a parameter the name of the variable then, and then I will give the value, okay? You have also procedure to get the value for a variable and so on. So all the functions that are part of the service API 
are now implemented in, in the activities. And this will help you, I think, to work better with the items and so on. Catalogs and order and do all the, all the stuff. I will run here an example where the robot will go and read all the, uh, categ uh, all the categories and then will read the, uh, all the catalogs, read the category from a catalog, then read an item from a catalog. And last thing, the robot will read, will write all these details in the Excel file, yeah? So, let's uh, see the, the result. This is the result. So I have uh, here the categories with the titles, description is. Uh, and I have the um, items and categories, yeah? And then I have, uh, here you can see that, for example, for categories, you can have subcategories. And here I return all the value and if it's another JSON, you need to parse this uh, in the data table. You need to parse this uh, with the serialized JSON because uh, you will see, you will see it later, you will show it later, yeah? So this is the detail for a category, for a uh, category or for a catalog and so on. So on each, uh, on each one, he will return a table and you can go and take the data from your table or you are able to get, uh, you need to parse this with JSON. Let's understand. Uh, if we go to UiPath Studio, here, uh, my bad, here, if you go to UiPath Studio, you will see that this function will return data results as a data table to be easy to use, and response, the response is a JSON, and to be able to work with this JSON, you will use this serialized JSON, and you extract your exactly data. Remember that I create some uh, uh, some dedicated videos on how to work with uh, with service now without any uh, animals um, service now without any uh, activity. Yeah? And on these activities, I explain exactly how to use this JSON, how to uh, how to convert to tokens and so on. Yeah. So this will be very easy to follow. So, uh, please try to use, uh, try these new activities. Tell me if um, uh, you will have more power for the uh, catalog items and so on. I implement everything from here and um, send me questions on, uh, on the YouTube, on uh, Marketplace to see what else you need on the, this ServiceNow connector. Uh, as usual, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and stay safe. Have a good one.